Welcome back to the Blue Chip Breakdown. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Here we break down the best high school football players in the entire country. And today we are on the number three player, Mike Matthews. Mike Matthews is a six foot two, 180 pound athlete out of Parkview High School that's in Lilburn, Georgia. And um, I'm going to scroll through his profile here just so you can see some of his offers. He's pretty much already been offered by every school in the entire country. And I'll scroll right here so that you can see what uh, what Andrew Ivins, who's an analyst for 24-7 Sports, what he's saying about him here. He's a multi-sport athlete. He plays basketball, too. He's pretty good in basketball. And let's take a look at his timeline here. All right, so we'll just start at the bottom of this page. You can kind of see some of his offers as they came up. You see a lot of those happened around the same time. It's funny how that happens. Once one big power five school offers, then you'll start to see other power five schools will offer shortly after. Same thing with the conferences. You kind of see teams that uh, are kind of close to each other or in the same conference will offer around the same time. He's visited USC, Clemson, Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee. He just got an offer from Coach Prime up there in Colorado. His uh, latest visit on his timeline is to Tennessee, and that was for a junior day. Junior days are a pretty big deal, so usually when you see players going to junior days, they're probably in their top five of schools that they want to go to. I think that Tennessee will be a perfect fit, obviously, because of the, the offense that Josh Heupel runs. Obviously, you know, he's close to Georgia, so Georgia's probably going to be in that mix. If Georgia's in the mix, you know, um, usually Bama's in the mix, Tennessee, Florida, you know, all those schools usually stay in the same mix. Uh, Clemson, I I've heard that Clemson's pretty high on his list, too. So I think that his top, if I had to give him like a top four right now, this is not necessarily coming from him. Um, but just off of things that I've read and off of a couple of other posts that I've seen, it looks like it's probably Clemson, Georgia. Uh, Tennessee and Alabama look like that's his top four. Now that's tentative obviously to change as more news comes out. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into this film. All right, so we're gonna take a look at uh, some of his one-on-ones from the rival circuit camps. First off, you see he does a good job of hesitating at the line of scrimmage when he runs right past Tyree Young. Got good hands right here. Look, he's very smooth, very long. Now look at this. Attacks the football with his hands. Uses his hands very well, very smooth, very fluid. Uh, nice job on a little curly Q route. Now look at this, this is all hands. That is all hands, watches the ball all the way in. Um, you know, excellent job. You can see that this DB is just a little bit late. So, you know, he makes that look really easy. Right here again, good job of Getting off the line of scrimmage, getting inside of the route. Again, you see those hands. Look at that. He's keeping the receivers off of his body. I mean, he beat them quick off the ball. Now, look at this. High point in this football, watching it all the way into his hands. Excellent job. DB cannot make a play on it. All right. So, playing right there in the slot. Good job right here. This is a smash route. That was a very nice route. He catches that with one hand, makes it look easy. Uh, smash route, flag route, corner route, uh, it's called different things. But first off, his burst off of the football does a great job of um, setting up that move, stemming to the inside, breaking outside. Looks very good coming out of his break. Here he's playing on the outside. Great burst off of the football. That's a little double move on a post. Again, sets it up very, very nicely. Uh, he sets the, I think this is a safety, sets him up, to, or yeah, th no, that's a corner, I believe. Sets him up to the outside. You'll see right here, starts to set up to the outside, gets him to kind of open his hips up a little bit more, reverse back to the inside, and does a great job of tracking this football, watching it all the way into his hands. That's a beautiful route. He's got great speed, looks really good. Now, right here, he's playing safety, does a good job of coming over the top. Look at the way his hips move, goes up, high points this football, and he makes plays when the football is in his hand. Let's see it again. Good job of getting over. Now watch his hips. Look at how fluidly he's able to turn his hips and he can go high point this uh, football. 
he also plays basketball. So, and you know, like I said, he does a great job with the football and his hands, offense, defense, special teams. On the outside here, again, you see him doing the, the same thing. He'll set the route up to the outside on a post and that's just easy pickings. So he's playing in Georgia's highest class and that is the best football league. Uh, that's the best high school football league in Georgia. It's literally, you're playing against five stars, four stars every single week. So he's playing against really, really, really good guys every week. Good job right there, uh, getting in and out of his break. And now look at the speed. He's running through tackles and he's running past everybody. I mean, he's a tremendous athlete. Really tall, really long. You can see that from uh, from the 101 film. Oof, does it again right there. I mean, sets it up to the outside beautifully and it just looks so good coming out of his break. He's got a beautiful... Beautiful gait to his stride. Doesn't have too too long of a stride. Look at this, sets it up to the outside, even kind of turns his head out there and then breaks back to the inside. So he was able to stem that cornerback, get him flowing to the outside and give himself and the quarterback a nice easy lane to be able to throw that football. There he is right there on a little speed out. And then look, he's physical, you know, finishes the uh, run there, lowers his shoulder. And right here, he's on the outside. You'll see him coming in. I mean, look at the burst and the explosion. And then he's able to lay that kid out on a block. Really nice work. Again, great job right there on the slant. But now here, he's just kind of finding an open spot. That was beautiful. I don't think that that was designed for that play at all. Um, speed out, great job getting off the line of scrimmage, getting open, uses his speed well, uses his hands well. Again, you see him finishing his run. He's just a football player. Same thing here. I mean, you know, he's explosive coming in and out of his breaks. This is what Georgia football looks like, guys. You know, it's physical, it's fast. Everybody plays physical, the quarterbacks, receivers, kickers. You know, it's, there's no soft guys coming out. Great job again on that slant. You know, he just makes it look very, very easy. He's very smooth, very fluid. Let's see this route again. Stems it to the outside, boom. Gets inside of the corner, catches it in traffic and gets into the end zone, makes it look very easy. There he is at the bottom, again on a slant, uh, right there close to the goal line. All right, so that is Mike Matthews. Looks like he's probably gonna play on offense, but obviously we saw him playing at safety and we see how physical he is playing on, on offense. He could also play defense as far as I'm concerned. I think he would be a phenomenal corner. His hips and his length, it's just like, my goodness. And you know how, how fast he gets in and out of breaks but more than likely I you know it looks like he wants to play on offense so I will see y'all on the next one I believe the next one is going to be KJ Bolden so I will see y'all next week thanks peace